Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we're in Niagara Falls, New York, and even more specifically than that, we're in front of the haunted house of wax. Now, there's quite a few. On the other side, in the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, there's quite a few haunted attractions, haunted walkthroughs, but I think this is a, a hidden gem here on the American side. Of course, you know, the, the Canadian side of Niagara, Fall, Niagara Falls, more loud, more, more boisterous, more tourist attractions packed in, but there is some good stuff here on the American side as well. And that's why I wanted to come by and visit the haunted house of wax today. Now it's not necessarily a straightforward haunted house. It's set up more like a museum, but it still has some scares in there. So it's an interesting combination. So please follow me. As you look up, you can see the sign there for the haunted house of wax. Promises ghastly heroes and horrific animation. You can see the skeleton here in the window playing the organ. You see this pirate here in the window. Oh, look at his, his face. It's a dastardly pirate. Be greeted by this character here. It looks like someone pulled out his eye at some point. See that big gargoyle here in front of the haunted house. See the zombie there wearing his beautiful pinstripe outfit. Some really cool velvet paintings up here. I've actually seen these in some other haunted houses, but I'm not seeing a set that's in such good shape as these. All right, this guy says this way. Enter here, you can already hear some screaming coming from in here. Oh, just keep right. And there's Annabelle the doll. It says Annabelle's about to sin. You know, some of the stuff here moves. I'm not entirely sure if she's gonna move. It's all part of the anticipation. Okay, he's, I think she's static. Oh, jeez! Freaking Annabelle. Oh my gosh. Now featuring Jason and Freddy. Let's see the, the two of the most uh, popular icons of horror there just chilling together. Wait a minute, I think there was a movie where they kill each other. Here's Batman at rest. Where's Robin? All right, see what we got back here. Oh, this is the alien examination room. You can see those no good aliens there examining, examining this disgusting corpse. Oh, aliens, why do you come all the way from space just to steal our intestines? And what is this up here? So this is a egg, looks like it has like, like, a, like a xenomorph or something inside of it. Oh my gosh, look at this. They cut open this person's foot. Little space monsters. We have the hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, there he is. Does anyone remember the show The Critic? I remember there was, in the, in the show The Critic, there was a, a musical made about the hunchback of Notre Dame called, uh, called Hunch. And it had some great songs. <laughs> and am I the only one that remembers this? It says they're crawling from beneath the ground. See the gravestone there with the zombies pulling up, pulling themselves out of the dirt. And you see this zombie here, his ghoulish face. He's already successfully crawled up from the dirt. All right, I'm heading into this hallway. See the flashing lights. What's in here? Is there gonna be any jump scares? Oh! Oh, something jumped up right there. What was that? What was that? Can I make it do it again? Can I make it do it do it again? Oh, there we go. Something popped up from that pillar. Around the corner here, we have this mutilated 
corpse dangling. Oh, he's starting to, starting to jiggle a little bit. Oh, a jiggling corpse. Well, at least he's got some life in him. Hang in there, buddy. All right, here we have a funeral, a funeral scene. I don't know. Oh, oh, jeez. I didn't. I was gonna say there's no one in the in the coffin, but there were. This ghoul was hiding, hiding inside the coffin. That's a dirty, dirty trick to hide inside the coffin. Oh, yeah. oh, you going back down? Going back down? Go slowly. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Hiding under the coffin. All right, walking into the darkness here. Got a bad, bad feeling about this. What's going on? Oh, it's Frankenstein. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Says the door popper checks for visitor. Oh, there we go. That's a door popper right there. Big old giant skeleton popping out of the out of the out of the door. Says he fell into toxic waste. Wonder who fell into the waste here. This way, up the stairs, and notice in the bushes here. Oh, here now in Jurassic Park, you can see the dinosaur there has eaten, eaten a person. Only their arm still there, attached only by a strand of gore. Into the next section here, some sort of werewolf on the wall. Oh, it looks like we gotta walk past this guy here. It's kind of a tight squeeze between this ghoulish fellow and this werewolf-like creature. And I'm, yes, I am, I'm, I'm waiting for them to lunge or move in some way. <laughs> I do like this werewolf. Pretty amazing. All right, Spooky. I'm gonna slide, slide by you here. As we continue up the stairs. Who's this? It says, Evil Annie likes her meat fresh. That's uh, Evil Annie there. Terrifying, it's just she likes eating fresh meat. And yeah, I'm just, as I'm walking away, I'm just waiting for her to, to pop at me or to do something, but I think, okay, the fact that not all the figures do something is actually makes it scarier because you don't know. Oh, this guy says, no tongue, no eyes, no hope. Oh, buddy, just because you have no tongue and no eyes doesn't mean you have to give up hope, do you? And you're going to start thrashing here momentarily. Okay, no, no thrashing. Interesting. I can see that mummified person rotating back there we have this big spider oh spiders spiders moving spiders raising up oh my gosh this says the black widow has two victim in storage for her next meal so the two victims oh one victim right there and another victim right there slowly rotating Oh, this is interesting. We have Headless Dracula hanging above Niagara Falls. Now you can see the falls back there behind the Headless Dracula. What are these creatures in here? They're glowering over this dead corpse. Oh, the corpse, the corpse ain't so dead. Oh, that was, that was terrifying. See if we can, see if we can get him to do it again. Back up, and we'll scuttle forwards. There we go. 
says moan ick and Boris will wait on you. So I guess this is Boris right here, the butler. We've got this vampire-like creature lurking on the wall. And then this is Monik. This cre creepy lady right here. We see the guillotine, the executioner looming above the victim. The sun oh! Not my head, not my head. So that's what you say when you get your head chopped off. It says, the executioner off with their head. So yeah, it's taking the head clean off this person. I don't know what crime they committed to receive such a sentence, but very brutal way of dishing out justice. Oh no, this says shake and bake. Oh! Shake and Bake is trying to get free. Oh. Oh, a man being executed. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Banging. Banging and rattling there. Oh, wow. Yeah, Shake and Bake is trying to get free. Sorry, shake and bake. Oh! That was scary. It says, the meat comes off the bones in the cauldron. You can see the cauldron there, covered in severed heads, skulls dangling there. We got, oh, there's some dead bodies down there on the ground. We got this ghoulish creature here hanging out with a super Super spooky skeleton. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. You can see the terror on this person's face here. It says, blink your eyes real fast while watching for psycho vision. I think my camera is actually giving you psycho vision as we speak. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, where it stops, nobody knows. Oh yeah, keeps keeps turning, keeps squealing. When's it gonna stop? There we go. So we prepare to head our way out this way. You can see the evil face, this giant bat creature. This is caution, please walk slowly down the stairs. Uh-oh. Makes me feel like there may be a scare on these stairs. All right, I think, I think, I think we're good. I don't think there's gonna be any final scares. So yes, a super spooky time in the haunted house of wax, but I wanted to head down the street here just a few blocks and check out something else. Right over here we have the Rainbow Bridge, which takes people into Canada, but here on the American side they have the twist Oh, the mist. It's a takeoff of the Maid of the Mist, the boat that will take you up to Niagara Falls. We have a little ice cream shaped building, so uh, let's get an ice cream shaped ice cream cone. Looking at the different flavors here, they have soft serve custard, which actually sounds really good, as well as some soda and floats. But I think I did want to get an ice cream cone. Let's try the Black raspberry, that sounds good. So standing here in front of the giant ice cream cone that is the twist, the mist. I got my blackberry ice cream. It's actually dripping on my fingers, so I gotta, I gotta quit talking and start eating ice cream. It's very good. Love blackberries. Love all berries. Really big fan of berry flavored ice cream. Mmm. See how this greets people? Right here, as they enter America, they come from Canada. Bring us, you're weary, you're tired, here to America, where you can, the first thing you see is a giant ice cream cone that is a building. You can get some ice cream 
to welcome yourself to America. The very first, the very first dessert place that is in this great country of ours. Oh man, I think I should have gotten, I think I should have gotten a smaller size. This is a medium. This is a medium, it's huge. I should have gotten um, maybe a, maybe a smaller size. Only imagine what a what a large <clears throat> what a large cone would have looked like if there would have been three scoops. I think three scoops is architecturally questionable. But oh my gosh, I look like a a small child trying to eat an ice cream cone here. Mm. Mm. Okay. This may take some skill, finishing off this ice cream, so I may have to do this off camera. So once again, a member of the Clean Cone Club. We get this weird hand chair, because you want to sit in a giant hand while you eat ice cream. I also have a mechanical horse here oh it only takes usa quarters i guess there's a problem with you know people come canada's right there people come over from canada with a pocket full of canadian quarters they forget what country they're in and they pop a bunch of canadian quarters in here and it poisons the horse but i i brought a few american quarters with me today so we can uh we can make the horse make the horse go oh there he goes Oh, he even has a little racing song that he does. I would ride him, but I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to cause any damage. I don't see a weight limit, but I'm gonna assume that he may have a weight limit. Oh, look at him go! Keeps going. It's actually a lot of value for two American quarters. Yeah, he just keeps going. What is that song? The William Tell Overture? Oh, oh, he's done. Now, here in New York, well, at least the other side of New York. They have the Statue of Liberty, which welcomes immigrants coming from the Atlantic. But here at the Canadian border, we have another Statue of Liberty. It's not as big, it's not as big, but it stands here as a glimmer of hope to those that come through this border seeking a new life, seeking opportunity given to them by the United States of America. Here's a monument erected by the Lions Club. It says, dedicated to the open borders and friendship of the United States and Canada. Now, there's no doubt that there's great friendship between Canada and the United States, but the borders, borders are a little backed up today. Borders are a little backed up today. We're relatively open. Just uh, whatever you do, don't, don't, uh, don't have a, flashlight taser in your car. They, they really hate that over there. I think I got a little bit of, a little bit of ice cream there on my chin. It was very drippy. I had to eat it super fast to keep it from dripping, but uh, it was delicious. So thank you for joining me here today in Niagara Falls, New York, and a wonderful visit to the haunted House of Wax. Still got some good spooks going there. And of course we came over here to the Canadian border to visit Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty 2.0. Actually, this statue is said that it was not donated by France like the other Statue of Liberty. This was actually created by the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts do a lot of fun things. They they put up the Lincoln Highway monuments. Um, I never I never joined the Boy Scouts. I I uh, I found it I found it to be intimidating to have to wear a uniform and congregate 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new content arrives. I travel all around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you would like to support the channel, uh, please uh, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, we are now selling uh, enamel pins in the Etsy shop, including a brand new No Scares On Stairs pin, so you can wear to your own haunts to ensure that you are not scared on stairs. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this one's in the bag.